Hey everyone, Michael O'Brien here, and today we're going to talk about, so you came up with a really cool magic trick, should you sell it on the market as a product? Hey everyone, thank you guys so much for tuning in to another episode of Advice for Magicians, where my goal is to help you guys take your magic and your magic business to the next level. If you have not already, I highly recommend clicking the subscribe button and don't forget to ring the notification bell so you guys can stay up to date and not miss any videos that I put out in the near future. Also keep in mind that I have recently launched my new YouTube membership program. So for just $1 a month, you guys will get access to all of that cool members only exclusive stuff, including full length magic tutorial videos, early access to exclusive only content, emojis, badges, all kinds of fun stuff. So for just $1 a month, you guys will get access to all of that right away. All you gotta do is just click the join button. Before we move on, I would like to make a really quick shout out uh, to someone, an honorary member here on the channel. I'm talking, of course, about Sean McDowell. He is uh, someone that literally comments on, I'm gonna say at least 99% of the things that I post. Uh, he's always there. He's always being supportive. He's been supportive since day one. I just wanted to give a special shout out to you, uh, Sean, and thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for all the love and all the support that you have shown me. Anyway, so let's go ahead and dive right into the content of this video. So you've come up with a really cool magic trick and you want to sell it on the market. You want to turn it into a magic product so that other people can buy and learn your trick. Should you do it? So there's a lot that goes into putting out a new magic product. A lot of people think all you have to do is just have an idea and you can start making money selling some kind of trick on the market. The honest truth is, is it is not quite as simple as that. There is a lot that goes into it. I'm gonna try my best uh, really quickly to explain a lot of these things in this video so you guys are more informed and know whether or not you should be putting this trick out on the market. So the first thing is, number one, how long and how much have you thought about the trick that you've just created? The last thing that you want to do is come up with something, you know, like in the middle of the night, like you wake up in the middle of the night at 3 a.m. because you had like a moment, uh, a moment of clarity while you were sleeping and you write down what this trick is and then the next day you wake up and you film it and you drop a download on like Penguin Magic or Theory 11's website. You don't wanna do that. <laughs> what you wanna do is you wanna make sure that you have something that's practical, something that you are very comfortable performing, that you've put the work in, you've gone out into the real world and you've tested and uh, isn't just something that you know you came up with off the top of your head but something that you really did put a lot of thought into. Again, the last thing that you want to do is, is rush out some kind of product that you haven't really thought about too much because if you get a bad reputation as the guy that just puts out stuff just to put out stuff, uh, it's, gonna, it's really going to damage your business. In the future, when you start getting better and better at putting out good products, people are going to remember you as the guy that just put out a mediocre thing just, just to get some money and people are not going to know whether or not they can trust. Uh, the next trick that you put out. And the next trick that you put out could actually be pretty good and something that you really worked on, um, but your reputation has already been damaged from that. It's kind of hard to recover um, when you've already kind of done that to yourself. So work in the trick that you're performing and the amount of time that it takes to release isn't the key thing. It's more the amount of experience that you have. So if you release the pro if, if you came up with the product and then a year later released it, but spent like zero time working in the trick or thinking about the trick during that year, it doesn't count. It's not like, oh, well, it's been a year since I thought of it, so now I can put it out. You do need to do the work. You need to go out, you need to perform it, you need to run it in, you need to know the ins and outs. Uh, you need to discover whether or not it's practical in the real world, what the angles are, uh, if it can be performed under test conditions, all that stuff. You're gonna wanna make sure you know all those things before releasing the product. It's absolutely crucial. The next thing is, is you want to do your homework and make sure that you're not putting something out on the market that is already out on the market. Oftentimes, you will coincidentally come up with some really cool idea that you completely came up with yourself. You didn't see it anywhere. Maybe it just came into your mind. Uh, but then you will quickly realize like, oh man, someone already beat me to it. 
That trick is called this. It's already out on the market. It uses pretty much the same method as mine. Uh, it's a good thing that I did the research and I didn't put that out. Otherwise, magicians might accuse me of ripping off someone else's product. So it's very important that you do your research. Look into to see if this trick has ever been done before. Look into to see if it has been done or if something has been done similar to it. Is your trick the same as or close enough to being the same as that trick? Because if it is, you should not be putting it out on the market. You don't want to step on other people's toes. You don't want to become known as the guy that just rushed out some trick and, uh, you know, people might call you a thief. They might say that you ripped off someone else's idea. And then again, now your magic reputation is completely destroyed because you are just known as the guy that just doesn't do his due diligence when putting out magic or worse, a dishonest person that is putting out someone else's product. You don't want to do that. Now, having said that, there is going to be a lot of magic that you're going to release, or should I say think of releasing, <laughs> that is something similar to what someone else put out, or maybe a trick that is an improvement on what someone else put out. If that is the case, you definitely want to make sure, again, you're doing your research so that you can reach out to the person that created the effect that your new thing is based on and ask them, hey, I have this new idea. It's kind of similar to what you have, or it works off of what you've already established. I wanted to run this by you because I am interested in putting it out on the market. I think that it's an upgrade of your trick, or it's different enough that now people have two different options of a trick that they can choose from, and then you will go back and forth and you will discuss, compare and contrast how the two effects are similar or not that similar so that you can release it, etc., you want to make sure that you have that communication with the person so that later when you release the effect and it's similar to the other one, maybe the method is completely different, but it's similar enough that that person might be like, oh, this guy stole my idea. And, you know, I came up with that like 10 years ago and now he's just calling it something different and putting it out on the market, even though maybe your trick is different. So it's very important. You also want to make sure that you are crediting properly uh, anytime that you put something out, you want to make sure that you do your best to let everyone know who the inspirations were, uh, where your trick is based from. So like if you come up with some kind of a new trick, you want to say, yeah, so this is based on X trick by so-and-so. Or yeah, so so-and-so gave me some ideas for this and putting their name on your product as well uh, in the credits. Now, a lot of magicians will say you need to credit every single person that, you know, has ever come up with something. And there's always going to be someone that says, well, you did credit some people, but you forgot about so-and-so in this book that put out this trick in like the 1920s. And so therefore, you know, blah, blah, blah. I'm not saying that you have to credit every single person that has ever touched the thing that you're putting out. But you want to do your best to credit as many of them as you can. You really want to just make an effort to show everyone like, hey, I know that I created this idea, uh, but this idea is based off of this person's work and this person's work and this person's work. We're all standing on the shoulders of giants here, right? Very few times you are ever going to come up with something that is completely original that has never even been thought of before. For the most part, like 99% of the magic that we come up with is a variation on something that has already been done in the past. Albeit you might have a new technique or a new method for it, or maybe even a new presentation for it that makes it unique. It is still going to more than likely be based on something else that someone else has already done. So I really hope that this clarified for you guys. Uh, I don't want to discourage anyone that is coming up with magic to put their magic tricks on the market. I think it's a beautiful thing to be able to come up with an idea, something that you're very proud of that other magicians might enjoy, and then you want to share that with those magicians. So, of course, you're putting it on Theory 11 or Penguin Magic or Murphy's or wherever you're putting it out. I just want to make sure you guys are doing it the right way. Okay, I've made my share fair of mistakes. My bleh, let me try that again. My fair share, there we go. My fair share of mistakes as well. And uh, I don't want to see any of you guys, you know, put into that situation. I have put out a couple of projects in my early years that weren't credited properly, uh, where people were a little upset with me that I didn't credit the, the people that deserved to have credit. 
And uh, so you just kind of you want to make sure that you're doing that, okay? And the last thing that I'm going to say on this is you will notice over time your magic will always continue to evolve and get better. Your magic is never finished. For the first trick that I ever put out in 2014, I believe, so it's been a minute, the first trick I ever released onto the market was Tour de Force, my In the Hands Triumph routine. I released it on Theory 11's The Wire, now known as The Marketplace, and since then, the trick has evolved multiple times and I've actually put out three different variations on the basic handling since then. So the first variation was an impromptu variation, then I came up with the gimmicked method, and then I came up uh, with the method in my Tour de Force Complete series DVD, which was the most up-to-date method at the time. And I came up with a bunch of different like variations on the performances using my collector's plot and sandwiching and multiple card uh, reveals and stuff like that. And then I came up with just recently another variation that I taught in my Penguin Live Act. Uh, so over like the course of five or six years, this trick has evolved multiple times and has only gotten better every single time uh, that I've released the effect. So moral of the story is, the best thing that you can do is really work in your tricks. Make sure that you know that it's original. If it's very similar to something else someone has put out, make sure you ask for permission slash uh, talk to them about what you're planning to release so you guys can compare and contrast. And of course, make sure that you are properly crediting all of the people that deserve it. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you all next time. Take care.